TikTok TV. Welcome yet again for another amazing episode. This is episode 10. It's the grand episode because I tell you one thing that is not easy that people will not tell you is that production during lockdown, something else. So shout out going out to the entire Talent Africa group team for always making this possible to bring you fresh Ugandan entertainment that is literally across the whole world. Now, of course, as you can see, I am right at Lake Nalubale, a historic lake that uh, is right at the shores of the amazing state-of-the-art Speak Resort Munyonyo. Now, we always come here and have a good time. During the lockdown, it's been shut down, so Lake Victoria decided to come closer to where we have a good time from. So, it's just mind-blowing seeing how the lake has come closer to the land, literally almost 100 meters into the land. So, it's, uh, it's a beautiful sight to see. I mean, nature taking over, I'm all for that. But hey, as I give you more details on Lake Victoria and how it's getting closer to us, here is our first segment of the week. Now, Mark Sidney, part of Tag TV, came through and had an amazing interview with Brian Umoy. Brian Umoy is a Uganda Crane centre forward and an amazing career that he has had. We just want to know more details on that, and Mark Sidney does the amazing break of that. So here we go. TV. I'm Max Sidney and I'm here talking with one of the unsung heroes in Ugandan football, Bran Numoni. So Bran, before we get into the mix, uh, please tell the audience how the clubs you've played for throughout the years. Well Mark, I have played for a club in Naguru, that's where I started my career, Naguru Avis. Uh, and eventually, because they play near KCC, KCC spotted me and signed me up. After KCC, I went to Supersport uh, Football Club in South Africa. <coughs> and then uh, that's where I went to Portland Timbers. From Portland Timbers, I went to Bikram X Bindung in Vietnam. And then also went to Tanzania after that, Azam Football Club. And then uh, after Azam Football Club, I went to St. George Football Club, where I got a major injury, came back to Uganda. After healing, I, I went to India as well after my injury and then I came back and joined Proline Football Club. That's where I currently play. How do you keep fit during these times? I'm very fortunate to have a place. I know very many people do not have places to work out from, but I have a compound, uh, my neighbor's compound, where I go for fitness. I have a coach as well who is on call. Whenever I call him, he comes and gives me drills. So we had a program during this, this time of co coronavirus. Uh, it's like a five day in a week program. You know? Every day comes and does different stuff. We do training, we do a lot of uh, ball work, we do a lot of running, we do a lot of exercises for the abs, you know, for the core, for the stomach. Yeah, that's how I've basically been doing fitness. Do you want to keep training like this or do you want the lockdown to end? Wow. <laughs> I, of course I want the lockdown to end, you know. This is not our life, you know. Uh, footballers, like sports has been put on a standstill. I want the lockdown to end so that we can go back to our normal sports life. If there was a team you could play for absolutely free, yep. what would it be? I am doing that right now. Uh, of course, I would say I would play free for KCC because it's my darling club. Uh, but right now, with Proline, it's not about money. You know, uh, Proline has been like my second home besides KCC. Uh, we have a good relationship with the owner uh, and the guys who run the club. So basically, I am playing to get my fitness. But as well, I love to play for the club as well. There was this player for Southampton, Matt Letizia. Yeah. He, he just wanted to play at Southampton. Yeah. Just nothing else. Not Real Madrid, Barcelona, Manchester United, right. those big clubs. Right. Do you feel yourself the same way? Um, at some point, yes. Uh, but I, I did not control that. Sometimes you want to play for a club, but the club does not want you to play for them. 
uh, he's, he's very fortunate that uh, he must have grown up around Southampton from the youth ranks and of course fortunate enough to for the club to want him to stay of course I would love to be at a team like that you understand if it is KCCA of course I have a good relationship with them I'd love to be there you know and finish my career there but it is Uganda mark you know you play so that you you step out and go professional football yeah? you know so you're not going to play at KCC and fulfill your dreams who is your inspiration in football my inspiration has always been a local person that's the person we used to look up to you know playing football when we were growing we used to hear about them they were heroes local heroes and that was uh, Majid Mosesi. Uh, eventually we had other names like Hassan Movidu and Andrew Mukasa. But of course, uh, the player that gave us a lasting impression was, I think, Captain Majid Mosesi. What do you watch that uh, actually has football in it? Oh my God, uh, uh, outside. <laughs> Outside me playing football, I'm not football. Mark. I I really do some other stuff. You know, I'm very far away from football. Uh, outside of watching football, I like to do movies. And thanks to this lockdown, oh my God, I've done lots of movies. You know, action movies. Well, that's all the time we have from me, Mark and Brian Money here. Stay safe, Tag TV. Peace.